Hello and welcome to the very first video of Selenium tutorials. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Selenium introductions, features, and components. So we'll see what exactly the Selenium is. We'll talk about the features, what's new added to the features of Selenium, as well as the components of Selenium. So first, let's start with the definition of Selenium. So basically, Selenium is an open source and portable automated software testing tools for testing web application. So basically, Selenium tests the web applications, that means the websites. So it has capabilities to operate across different browsers and operating system. Selenium is just not a single tool, but a set of tools that help tester to automate web-based application more efficiently. So Selenium mostly focus on web-based application and it supports multiple browser. And this is one of the testing tools that's used to test the web application in terms of automation. Now, what are the different platforms that it supports or basically what are the operating system that supports here in Selenium? So it's Microsoft Word, it supports Selenium. In fact, Macintosh, this support Selenium, Linux supports Selenium. So basically all the different operating system, whatever is available, all is supportable in case of Selenium. Now, when it comes to the programming language, so here you have multiple programming language. Now you can select any one of these programming language out of this Java, Perl, C, .NET, Python, Ruby, out of these programming language, you can select any one of the programming language and start using Selenium on it. So if like, you know, Java, then start using the Selenium tools in terms of Java. If you know Python, then you can start using the same in terms of Python. That's what the pro uh, programming languages means here. So we need one programming language for testing and that's like you can select any one. So these are different programming languages that supports here. Now let's switch to the feature sections. So in feature, the very first feature is Selenium supports multiple browser. Now by saying this, I want to say like here, it supports multiple browsers, like it supports Chrome, browser, it supports the Firefox, it supports Internet Explorer, it, it supports Safari. So all those browsers, whatever browsers you come across or you find uh, in the real world, Selenium supports all those browsers. Just the thing is that when you are using these browsers, you will add a driver to it, uh, basically a driver that's similar to other browsers. The second thing, it supports multiple programming language support. So here, uh, just you have seen that these are the different programming languages that support, so you can select any one of them. This one is important, upgraded Selenium ID. So Selenium ID was available or was earlier available just as Firefox add-on. Later, it got deprecated with introduction of latest Firefox versions. This is because the add-on in latest Firefox was standardized under the web extension mechanism. So basically the Selenium ID was updated from Firefox add-on to a complete or to the latest Firefox version. So before it was like it was just for the older versions. Now this is updated to the latest version. Now the last one, duplication of desired capabilities. Now desired capabilities was replaced with the options. So in Selenium 4, that's the latest version in this, capabilities objects are replaced with options. So here first we use desired capabilities. It's still in use, but we have a better option than that is options. This means tester needs to create option objects, set requirements and pass the object to the constructor. So basically just you have to select any of the options like all of these, you see these are the listed options, Chrome options, Firefox options, Internet Explorer options, Edge options, Safari options. So for every browser you have options and these options basically helps to add on those facilities that we cannot add to the packages or maybe to the jar files. So that's what options help us to do. And this is very important feature you will get to know in when you will be, when you come across this, you'll see the best uses of it. So first desired capabilities was only the option available. Now that's upgraded to the different options for every browsers. That's this was one of the most important feature. And the last one, Modification in accent classes. In accent classes, before we used to have only the right click, mouse over and drag and drop. Now there are modification in this accent class because we have added few more clicks, a click and holds, we have added double clicks. And basically these accents are the one that's performed through keyboard or you can say through mouse. So these actions, basically a few more features are added to these actions. The definition for all is mentioned here. <laughs> Now when you talk about the components, so these are the different components in Selenium, like the first one is Selenium Remote Control, second one is Selenium WebDriver, Selenium Grid, and Selenium ID. 
So these are the different components available in Selenium. We'll talk about these components in details in our next lecture. This is all about the introduction features and components in Selenium. We'll see these components, what exactly it means and all in our next lecture. Till then, bye and thank you.